Yeah, 3D fractals are awesome, but then why do you rarely see procedural rendering used in games? I mean, ray marching unlimited objects in real time seems really useful, right? Well, the problem is, sure there's efficient ways to draw these objects, but how do you actually interact with them? Well, I'm going to show you Marble Marcher. It's a proof of concept to show that fractals aren't just fun to look at, but real games can be built with them using a fractal physics engine. The download link and source code are in the description. If you want to understand how ray marching works, you'll definitely want to check out my other video on that first, otherwise some of this video might not make any sense. So what do we actually need for a physics engine? The most critical and difficult piece is collision detection, and that's why it's often the biggest source of glitches in modern games. Collisions are fundamentally difficult because the math is complicated and expensive, so games make a lot of approximations, and they're always trying to balance accuracy with speed. And even then, after a few thousand objects, things typically start to slow down. Now we should have an opportunity to do better, because rendering a fractal is really only rendering a single root object with a bunch of transformations and folds applied to it. So how can we transfer this to the physics? Remember how fractals have a really efficient distance estimator? Well, this is actually really useful. If our object is a sphere with a radius, then just by checking the distance estimator, we can immediately know if we're intersecting or colliding with the fractal if the distance is less than the radius. So problem solved, right? <laughs> nope. Knowing that you're colliding with something isn't enough, because you also have to know how to react to the collision and unintersect yourself. And it's not obvious how we would get that information efficiently. So I'm going to put a big twist on everything. Normally, you compute folds and transformations a bunch of times and then finally take the distance estimate of a root object. But let's say instead of computing the distance, you compute the closest point. Okay, but the closest point on the root object isn't actually that useful. Once we have it though, we can just unfold that point by undoing all of the transformations until finally we have the closest point on the original fractal. That means it's just as efficient as computing the distance. Using that point, it now allows us to update the sphere so we know exactly the optimal direction and amount it needs to move to avoid the collision. And that to me was an amazing discovery. It allows extremely fast, precise collisions with infinite objects. That inspired me to make Marble Marcher, a marble racing game where you race on fractal surfaces to reach the goal. Since everything is ray marched, we can take advantage of a bunch of cool features like reflection, refraction, soft shadows, dynamic lighting, ambient occlusion. And since nothing is baked, not even the physics, we can actually have the entire fractal evolve during gameplay, and everything just works. It even runs at 60 frames per second, no problems at all, though you will need a really high-end GPU for the high resolutions. There's one caveat though, remember how we're dealing with distance estimates. To have the physics work, that estimate needs to be really accurate. A lot of fractals have perfect distance estimates, but some don't. I'm not sure what causes this problem. I think it is something to do with using a scalar instead of a Jacobian matrix in the estimate, but I just made sure to pick only fractals that worked, so it wasn't a problem. And yeah, this game is free and open source, so I really hope you give the demo a try. It's truly unique, and I've never seen anything like this before. I also really want to thank the artist Petty Theft for doing all the music for the game and this video. Be sure to check out his SoundCloud. And for anyone that dares to speedrun the game, these are my personal best so far. Thanks for watching, and have fun!